the mecca of art in Texas, Austin is home to a wide variety of street art that covers the city from corner to corner. From beloved classics such as the High of RU to the city's new bold and captivating pieces, Austin's art celebrates its cultural history as well as invites a diversity of voices to be heard. My name is Mike Johnston and I got into doing street art about 10 years ago now. So. My wife and I, we used to teach overseas. We were in China, we were in Kuwait, and neither one of those places uh, had much street art at the time. So when we moved to Austin in 2010, saw graffiti, saw murals, saw stickers, saw tags, saw it all, and just felt like, man, that was the green light. And felt like, hey, I know, I know how to paint things, now it's my time. I am Todd Sanders, a neon pop artist, and I live in South Austin, Texas. I, um, I grew up in East Texas and didn't really know that much about Austin. I knew it was the state capital and I'd never visited. On a road trip in 1990, I kind of just drove through Austin and I felt the spirit of the city and I felt the energy that was here and I fell in love with the neon signs here and I just said that's where I want to live. Artist Daniel Johnson initially put up Jeremiah the Friendly Frog on the cover of his 1983 album Hi How Are You? The Unfinished Album. It wasn't until 1993 that Sound Exchange Record Store commissioned Johnson to make a mural of his music, thus leading to the creation of the iconic Austin mural. However, after Sound Exchange went out of business and Baja Shrimp moved in with the intent of getting rid of the mural, locals rallied together and begged the managers of the restaurant to keep Jeremiah there. In 2010, local musician Amy Cook took a can of spray paint and wrote the famous I love you so much as a love letter to a partner, majority owner of Joe's Coffee, Liz Lambert. The United Way of Greater Austin has been a large vessel of support in the local community through their efforts against poverty and through providing resources to families in need. In 2012, as a part of the organization's branding efforts, the team unveiled this mural as an ode to unity and positivity throughout the community. Yeah, 2011, started putting up stencils with uh, the word truth, because I thought, you know, what a, what a powerful word. And eventually people started saying, hey, you're the guy doing truth. You're the truth guy, you're truth. And so then it kind of organically turned into uh, like the street art name and the brand. I've become kind of the go-to guy for, if you want a vintage type sign for your movie set, I'm the guy you come to. Um, Terrence Malick films, Robert Rodriguez. I, I, I did a painted piece for the Boyhood movie and I've done a lot of like, different uh, movie sets. Under the backdrop of the coronavirus pandemic and the U.S. presidential elections, local artists in Austin acknowledged the women's suffrage movement through their works around the city. In celebration of the pivotal event that gave women nationwide a voice, the Downtown Austin Alliance Foundation debuted a new program called Writing on the Walls. This program, showcasing an array of murals, designed and completed in March of 2020, are all part of the organization's mission to create a dialogue around social change through art. Notable pieces include Sade's Lawson's It's Okay Not To Be Okay, located next to North Lamar Boulevard Underpass, and Chandra Chavert's Wonder Woman on the side of Line Hotel in downtown Austin. The so, yeah, art, I feel like, has always been a part of my life. Um, my dad was in the army, so he moved like every year or two. And so with that, if I didn't have friends at a new spot, you know, it didn't, it didn't really wear me out because I would just go in my room and, and draw. And so that was kind of like, it's kind of like my anchor, being able to draw and create. That was something that I could always have as my escape. So yeah, but knowing that I was going to be doing murals, I never, I never would have guessed that. 
you know, once I started doing that, going teaching, I was teaching, I thought, okay, you know, if I sell a couple paintings on the side and those paintings can be date night, those paintings, you know, that money could be for travel. Uh, I never thought it'd be possible to make a full-time living doing it. And so I guess my motivation or my, my word of encouragement to young people would be that, you know, even though something might seem like out of reach or crazy, I, I mean, it's possible. People, people do way crazier things and make a living doing it. When I make pieces that I know are gonna live longer than me and be cherished and handed down generation to generation, that that's like I was here, you know. I, I made a I made a difference in this world. My life mattered because I made art that encouraged people to uh, enjoy their life. Austin murals make up a large part of the city, the culture, and the art scene. Ranging from cute cartoons to elaborate pieces inciting social change, the murals are a key part of what keeps Austin weird. <laughs>